Hey guys, what's up? Lou in here at GarageBand and beyond, back with another Guitar Tuesday. Yeah, Guitar Tuesday. I'm loving making the Guitar Tuesday videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. You know, we got videos every Tuesday and Wednesday here on GarageBand and beyond. So, you know, if you like them, hit the like button, subscribe button, share button, all that stuff helps my channel grow. And that's what I'm trying to do. So please do that. That would be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to talk about something super boring for advanced guitar players. Um, but maybe anybody out there who, who has a hard time tuning their guitar by ear, uh, this is a lesson for you guys. So when you're tuning your guitar by ear, there's just one general rule that I follow. I'm not necessarily listening to the notes themselves. Uh, I'm listening to the fundamentals of those notes, meaning, you know, there are certain nodes, certain uh, other intervals that happen. So like if I play one E string, like a low E string, if you listen very, very carefully, and I'm not kidding, you will hear more than one note. And you'll typically hear like an E, maybe an, an E, uh, an octave up. I sometimes hear the B out of the E. Um, you know, so anyway, it's, it's an interesting thing. It's really, it really requires you to listen to the strings in a much more intense and intimate way. You really have to start hearing the fundamentals that are coming out of just the single note open string, right? Um, but I think the easiest way for me to demonstrate this to you where th without you guys being like, I don't hear what the hell he's talking about. I'm going to use an electric guitar and I'm going to use a distorted signal, okay? Because I think with the distortion on, you hear the beating between the fundamentals a lot more significantly. Um, and so I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. So imagine that you have... Uh, you know, referenced a note off of whoever else in your band or whatever, or off a piano or something. But you don't want to sit there and like note by note tune to your friend's guitar or to the piano, most definitely not a piano. Um, so you want to get one good note, right? So I'm going to say high E, and then you're going to work down to the low E string, okay? So that's what I've done here, except I've used a tuner. And let's just double check. It helps. There we go. So somewhere in there should be good. So now I know that uh, this, I just picked this guitar up and every string was a little bit flat. So I tuned just the high E string. So now all of them are a tiny bit flat. Okay, so that's, you can see how flat the B is. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna just talk and show you what I'm talking about. So as, I mean, this helps if you have headphones or you're in your studio, but listen to what is going on um, between the notes, okay. As I start tuning the B string, you will hear a you'll hear a beating in the distortion. It'll, it'll start a little slower, and as I get closer, or it'll start quickly, and then as I get uh, closer to the actual note, it will start slowing down. And then if I go past it, it'll start speeding up again, right? So, for example, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Right, so right around there, I have the noise gate on. Maybe I'll back the noise gate off a little bit. Because I do think it helps um, as it gets qu more quiet. Uh, I think you do hear a little bit better as the decay is going on. You can definitely still hear the beating between the notes. Okay, so now let's tune on, turn on the tuner and check that. Pretty damn good, right? So it's just a sh touch sharp. But on this guitar, I can tell you right now that the B likes to be just a tiny, tiny bit sharp. So uh, that worked out perfectly. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go down to the G string. So there, you can hear it. It's like pretty fast. It's wah, 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 wah. It's a pretty fast. Right? And then you should have definitely just heard that slow down and then stop. So now, let me show you. If I go past the note, it gets really fast, really quickly. Hear that? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there it is. Now, one thing I will say is um, you don't want to tune down to notes. You always want to tune up to a note, right? So if you're flat, you want to raise it. If, uh, if you're sharp... You actually want to tune down past your note and then back up to said note that you want. 
Now, as we get to the lower notes, the beating um, will be slower, but you will still hear them uh, tighten up and then totally release and slow down as you get close to the note. Actually, that's a little sharp. Okay, that's that. That was a good one. That's a beefy one. Listen to this. This is the D in the A string. Hear that wobbling? That's what you should be listening to. Okay. okay. Now, the low E string and the B string are usually the two trickiest strings. My personal secret is to use the B and the E string as your tuning them, right? So now that I know the B's in tune, right? I know the B's in tune now, so I can actually use that as my reference note for the E, and check this out. You hear that? You hear that wah, 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 wah. If I do it between the A and the E, it's not, you can probably still hear a little bit of it because of the distortion being on, but it won't be as pronounced. Right? It's a lot faster because they're, the notes are closer to each other. This B and this E are pretty far apart. They're an octave apart. Um, so there's a big variance there for that wobble to go. So it's a lot more pronounced. Yeah, using the low E with the B string to tune it by ear, that's a, definitely a good trick. So anyway, that should be it. Now my high E string is a little flat. Here it is. Okay, <laughs> pretty good. So, um, you know, this will go as well, you know, if I can just try to turn off, let me get just a straight up clean sound, see if I can get this for you to hear it. Um, I have to turn it up a lot. Okay, so let's just see. Yeah, I can definitely hear it, but it's not nearly as pronounced. That's why I was using the um, distortion, because it is. But the point of everything that I'm <laughs> talking about here is what you are listening to, right? So when you're tuning your guitar, like I said, start with a reference note from someone else in your band or a piano, whatever you may have in the house that is in tune, a tuning fork, for example, pitch pipe, for example. Um, start with that note and then tune around that one note by listening to how the notes are interacting, right? It's all about hearing that beating. The more you try to listen to the fundamentals of every guitar string, um, you know, like I said, like if I play this low E string, what do I hear? Okay, so I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing the B. It's like up here. This is the kind of intense listening that I'm talking about. Like when you I mean you want to be a music producer, this is the level of listening you have to be working at. Um, you have to be able to hear the the other notes that are being played when one single note is you know being struck there are other notes that are audible if you listen quietly and intensely enough you will hear those other notes then the trick is to get your brain to identify them and then you can sit down and identify them on the instrument right so you got to be able to translate it all the way through to an actual physical note on your instrument um when i've i made videos about something called the act of listening and this is very much inside of that 
Uh, tuning your guitar by ear is really, really tricky. It takes a long time to get it right. But if you sort of just listen to what I'm saying here, just just listen to those fundamentals, listen to the way they beat against each other and find the point where they stop beating each other up and they're all smooth uh, because those intervals will be nice and smooth when you find the right place. So this is probably the worst and most boring video I've made in a long time, but <laughs> it's Guitar Tuesday. I get to do whatever I want. So that's cool. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, if you have any questions or comments or any other techniques that you like to share about tuning guitars by ear, leave them in the comment section below. And um, I think that's it. So have a great day and I'll see you guys on Friday. Right. Peace.